I want to remove few people from this image. And if I go with regular spot healing brush with content aware, and for example, I don't want these guys here and their shadows. Photoshop will do probably a decent job. This is how we did it until this update. So not bad. Let's do a few times more. Okay, and the shadows, not bad, decent job. But if we continue with that and remove even more, ah, it's getting crazy. We need to remove a little bit more here and there. And this is already not so good. So let's undo this a few times. And let me show you a new magic tool here in Photoshop. It's called remove tool. That's a brand new and now we just need to select whatever we want to remove. Okay, like this. And also I want to remove their shadows like before. So everything here and just press enter. And that's it. Perfect. Or let's see with these guys here and the shadows. Okay, you always want to select a little bit more than just what you want to remove and you can press enter or just go here. Perfect, maybe just a little bit here, but you can easily remove it and like that. See this woman here is covering two lines and this one is covering only one line. So I don't want them in the picture. Really beautiful. So let me show you before and after. If I show you this photo, you wouldn't even notice that there were people here. So I will just fast forward and try to remove all of these guys to show you guys how this looks. <laughs> Let's press enter and let's see what Photoshop will do for us. And this is how it looks. This is really amazing. And if I show you this photo, you wouldn't even notice that there were people here. So this is before, this is after amazing new tool. It's called remove tool. And let me show you really quickly how much time would it take to remove this patch right here from the hair? Well, with this new tool, really, really fast with the old tools. It would take a while and you will have struggles. I tried it and it doesn't look as good as with this new tool. So let's press enter. And this is it. Really beautiful result. Let me show you before and after. Really, really nice. And let me show you actually how it would be with old tools. So let's go here to a spot healing brush tool and let's cover everything like I did with the remove tool. And this is all in the new Photoshop 24.5 that is recently came up in May 2023. So this is it. Let's wait a moment. See, we have some issues here with this patch right there and see the result with the new remove tool. It's much clean and nice and this is crazy and you need to go over this and clean it and maybe use clone stamp tool, etc. And still is not good. Also, I tried it with, uh, let me show you really quickly with, with uh, content aware fields. So let's select this. And, and now we have this new floating menu here that you can move it wherever you want. And it's really nice. This is a second tool that I really like here in Photoshop update, because here you can now choose to expand contract selection, feather it, smooth it, without going here to select and then modify and then go all here. So it's really making your workflow faster. Also, you can invert the selection, you can crop it where the selection is currently and uh, change the aspect, uh, the mirroring thing and go with other settings. Also, if you don't like that, just cancel it. Also, you can add this as a layer mask and uh, also you can fill it. And here we can fill it with content aware. And let's press OK and wait for a few seconds and see, we still have, let's deselect, we still have these issues. So with a new remove tool, this is amazingly easy. Let me show you another example. So this photo is part of my Photoshop hair manipulation course. You can get it on my website. I will leave the link down there in the description. You will learn how to create any kind of hairstyle that you like. So check it out if you're up to it. But now, for example, I don't like this flower and butterfly. So I will just select it and just select the butterfly and the flower. And in a couple of moments, just press enter. And this is it. Perfectly done job. Also, 
maybe I don't like the shadow also that is left over from the butterfly and the flower. Again, select it and voila, this is beautifully, really easy. Sometimes you need maybe to fix things here and there, but this is really, really nicely done. Also, another thing is that you have the option here to remove after each stroke. I don't like that, but let me show you. That means that if you just select something and just release the mouse or pen or whatever, it will start to generate the background and it will perfectly remove the bird. But I'm missing my bird, I don't want that. But I don't like that just because if I want to remove something, I maybe want to make the brush smaller here and I want to do something like that. So I always like to have this turn off and then just press enter when I'm done and this is it. And see, really, really beautifully. Let's do one more time here and voila, we have removed a lot of things. We can remove the shadow, etc. Let me show you another example. Here I want to show you another amazing feature that Photoshop implemented in this new update and this will also speed up your workflow because you will skip a lot of steps. So this is a gradient tool. So now if you just choose a gradient tool here and choose whatever you want, different colors, different variations here, let's just expand this, whatever kind of gradient you like, but I want to go with default black and white colors and go all the way up with probably black to transparent and just create this, see? It will create gradient live here, but with that difference that now you can really easily change between different type of gradients and move them however you want. Maybe you want to make the top part darker, no problem, just put this into soft light blending mode, for example, and just move it like that. Remember before, you need, if you want to change the angle of the gradient or whatever you want to do, you need to go inside here and then change the angle. You want to add different colors, maybe I want to add another color here, maybe red, no problem, but I need to go all inside with all these steps. But now, I will cancel this. Now, this is really easy. Change the angle of gradient. You want to add a color. See this white arrow here with a plus? Just click it and it will add different color. If you want to change the color, double click on that and then again change the color. Also, another cool trick, hold Alt while this is selected. Hold Alt and choose any color you want from the image. So this is another amazing job. And also, let's move this up a little bit. Also, you have this feather slider here to control how much of which color will be filled into the other color. So this is really, really cool. And also, always you can do this and change type of gradient. And maybe I want to completely change this, no problem. Just go back and say again, black to transparent. It will go like that. And maybe I want to add vignettes, so I need to reverse it click here, see, really simple and really easy. And let's add another, let's let's maybe lower the opacity, let's add another tone here and choose maybe some darker green tone. And I really like it, maybe more like a movie type of, not like a regular vignetting, but something like that to get darker tops and bottoms of the image. And let me show you, if I go to another tool, before and after, really easy, really, really quickly. And if I want to back my controls, just press G or just go here and you will fully be able again to control your gradient and do whatever you want. And also you can add new gradients, etc. So just go back to your image and add another one and uh, go with whatever you blending mode you want. And you will have that opportunity, maybe you want this to be different colors, so maybe you don't want black, maybe you want some bright tone like that, and this one also bright tone like that, and this one maybe you don't want, just, just remove it, just drag it right there, and this is it, and maybe you want just to make him a little bit brighter, but not that much, so lower the opacity, and see, before and after, and also this guy is doing some routing, so let's Let's remove him. So, I don't want you here. Don't be rude. But this is part of my photo manipulation story that I did a few years ago. So, like Sherlock Holmes, uh, Sherlock, Holmes <laughs> Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. And this is like the criminal that they are investigating. See? No problem. Remove tool is working perfectly. We just want 
Criminal to go from the image, no problem. This is it, so let me show you. Before and after, we don't have our criminal, our root criminal is gone. Another bonus feature that I want to show you here is that we have adjustments and see here when you go over with the mouse over these, you can change the look of your image really quickly and whatever you find that you like, you can just, for example, this one, you can click on it and it will add here as adjustment layers and you can double click and see what is what it does. So here, it add a little bit contrast with the S-curve and also add a color balance. But beauty of this that is that you can always change it however you want. Maybe I want more cool look here with that contrast, maybe something like that. And this is before, this is after subtle change. You can, this is non-destructive, you can always delete the mask, the whole group, etc., and add a different, new different um, adjustment here. So whatever you want, maybe I want to add a little bit more sunshine over the top of everything. And so here, this is this one, this, this is this one. So see, beautiful. So whatever you want. Also, let me show you another cool thing with this uh, floating menu here, contextual text bar, is that you can, set it wherever you want, it doesn't matter, it will stay there, but also you can pin it to be on that position, maybe I want to put it somewhere here, up, up there, so I'm not distracted by that. Also, it will show you what is logically to do next with your layer, but with the adjustment layer, there is no that bar because you don't have options on the bar with that, just with the pixels here, with the image with the pixels, also with the new empty layer, we will have the same things and also let me show you really quickly when you create a new layer new document actually then this will show you to import new image or you can hide reset bar position and unpin it so if you want to reset it this is default it will always stay at the bottom of your image but if you hide it accidentally then you can go here to the window and contextual taskbar and you will have it right here. So that's it. And these are my new favorite features from Photoshop 24.5 update that I think that will speed up our workflow. Let me know down there in the comments what you think about that. And also, if you want to know what is coming next to Photoshop that is currently in beta, a new AI tool that will definitely change everything, check out this video. See you next week in the next one episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>